Welcome back everybody. This is Logan with Northern Arizona Wind and Sun. I've got another video for you today discussing winter care tips for your solar system. We will go into detail a little bit more on um, specifics as to how temperature can affect some of the components in your system. Um, today I'll really just address some of the preventative measures that you can do. Um, this would be most applicable for an off-grid system in case you were putting your property, your house, cabin, whatever, into long-term storage for the winter season. Um, so this is a question that does come up quite a bit uh, uh, here for us in Flagstaff. We, we do get a fair amount of snow in the winter. We have, um, you know, I think quite a bit of people who have seasonal properties around here. Um, so we, we definitely do get a lot of calls as to how to, quote, winterize the system uh, for, you know, maybe three to four months um, when there's nobody occupying the site. A couple things that you can do to help your system get through the winter if you're leaving it alone. One of those would be regarding the tilt of your solar panels. So this might not apply for everybody if you have the panels mounted on the roof or some sort of a fixed tilt rack. But if you do have your solar panels installed on a mount with an adjustable tilt, typically for the winter months you want to increase the angle of the panels, uh, something fairly steep. And what that is going to do, it's going to do two things. Uh, one, it will help to maintain a decent level of solar production during the days when the sun hours are the shortest. So that steeper tilt angle of the panel uh, helps better catch the sun when it is lower on the horizon in the winter season. Uh, the other big benefit into making your panels at a steep angle for winter is that um, it helps a lot with the snow pile up. So if you're in an area where you get snow, uh, a steep angle of your panels that does kind of uh, help anyways, doesn't prevent snow buildup completely, but definitely does help some of the snow um, almost kind of just shed off directly uh, right when it comes in contact with the glass surface of the panel. So once you've got your panel tilt uh, kind of set up for the winter season, I would say another thing to, uh, to take into account, you, you typically want to turn off all of your loads. So I understand there may be some critical loads, maybe security equipment, maybe some sort of uh, you know heating uh, that we need to keep on during the winter. So you know if you fall into that category, it's a bit of a different story. But assuming we're we're completely shutting the property down, there's no loads running. You you you've got to make sure that there is absolutely zero draw on your batteries. So that involves turning your inverter off, disconnecting it from the batteries, tracking down all of your ghost, uh, fandom, vampire loads, whatever you want to call them. Um, so again, making sure there's absolutely nothing discharging the batteries. The reason why that's important is because if you do leave for the winter and you forget to turn off a light, maybe you leave the inverter on, if there's no critical loads in the property that have to be maintained, and your solar panels, for one reason or another, get buried in snow, if, if the panels are covered long enough and not able to charge at all, eventually that load, whatever it is, is going to drain and discharge the batteries, and that's just going to keep going and going and going, potentially getting to the point where you've over-discharged the batteries that may cause damage or um, potentially make the batteries unusable. So. Make sure we have zero loads discharging the batteries, and then that way if we do get a few days or maybe even weeks or months of uh, snow coverage on our panels, hopefully the batteries are have enough charge to where they can make it through that period on their own. So another thing to think about here, uh, if you do want to keep the batteries maintained, keep them charged, kind of like a trickle charging system, you can definitely keep your solar panels connected, keep your charge controller on and working. Um, again, if we've minimized all the load on the system, all the solar charging components are really doing there, they're just keeping the batteries full. Um, that way when you come back after the winter season, everything's ready to go and uh, able to be used then. There are some people who prefer to remove their batteries altogether from their installation for winter and maybe they'll take them home or put them in storage somewhere where they can be placed on a charger. 
Uh, I think that's totally fine. Again, if there's no critical loads in the property or cabin or home, we need to keep running during the winter. We don't necessarily need the battery sitting there on site. So if that works out better for you for any reason, you wanna disconnect them, take them home, put them in the garage for the winter, keep them on a charger, I think that's totally fine. Potentially easier said than done there if the batteries are uh, heavy, you know, especially AGM or lead acid batteries, uh, that could be maybe sort of a hassle to transport those and uh, haul them to your house. Um, also, sometimes if it's a really remote site, hard to access, I hear people sometimes say they can only get to their cabin on a snowmobile in the winter, for example, you know, hauling around hundreds of pounds of batteries back and forth, depending on the season, maybe not the route you want to go. So taking the batteries home, removing them from the install for the season, that's really going to be dependent on your preference and, you know, what's feasible and obviously the batteries that are there. So really, I think with all that factored in, equipment-wise, your inverter, your controller, uh, chargers, your solar panels, really all that stuff is okay sitting, powered off, you know, not in use for extended periods of time. The batteries are a different story. So really the, 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 mid, the big concern here with leaving the property unattended for winter are the batteries. Okay, so that was just a few winter care tips that you can apply to your system if you are trying to winterize it for the season. I'm happy to answer any other questions on this. Give us a call and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe and comment.